Hello everyone, this is Neerati. I hope you all are doing really good. Having understood how to set target and the stop loss likewise, now it's time to move ahead and understand how to set target onto your portfolio, target or stop loss onto your portfolio. So as you can see that it's a short straddle portfolio in place. And if I wish to set target onto my portfolio, then I'll just click on the target setting, right? And if I want to set stop loss, Onto this portfolio, then I'll just click on the stop loss setting. As simple as that. Now, let's talk about the target first. Backinzo supports multiple types of targets such as combined profit, combined premium, absolute combined premium, underlying movement, delta and theta. These targets will be applicable on the whole portfolio. Whole portfolio as in Joby Aka portfolio, uh, uh, as in this case, it's a short straddle portfolio, right? which consists of two legs, right? The two legs may this target will be applicable on the whole portfolio of two legs. Means for all legs as combined, right? Now in this video, I'll talk about the combined profit first and uh, combined loss, okay? Combined loss, which will be applied on the whole portfolio, of course. Now combined profit. So when you want to use overall profit of the portfolio for monitoring target, then you can select this option. So this combined profit will monitor overall PNL of the portfolio. Matab, in two legs ka combined PNL kitna hai. Usme maine target set kar diya hai. Suppose I want to exit when the total profit becomes 500 rupees for this short straddle portfolio. Then I'll just click on the combined profit under this uh, target type and herein I'll mention 500 rupees, right? Herein you can enter value in rupees percentage only okay please note that now in this case i'll keep it simple and i'll just mention combined profit as 500 rupees and the stop loss as combined uh, stop loss uh, loss as 250 rupees right now i'm saving this portfolio and my portfolio is saved i'll enable it i'll recalibrate it i'll run it over simulator right I'll increase the speed so that I can showcase it to you if it hits target or the stop loss on the combined level. Now I'll expand this so that I can showcase it to you the combined PNL, right? Do you see this combined PNL of these two legs? So the moment it hits 500 rupees, uh, because I had set 500 as my combined profit. So if it hits 500 rupees, then it will be a square wall. And if it hits, uh, let's say, 250 rupees, because I had said there 250 as my combined loss, then it will be square. I'll wait for it to get hit. So it's on the verge of hitting. Yes, it got hit 500 rupees, right? See the 500 rupees, it got hit. So this is the first case. Now in the second case, uh, I'll showcase you how Portfolio profit protection works. So this is another case and the target type I have chosen combined profit and I have set 500 rupees as my combined profit onto this short straddle portfolio. Now do you see this portfolio profit protection tab? It has two fields. One is locking field and other is target trailing field. Both the fields they are independent of each other. So if you want to lock your profits then use this field that is lock locking field and if you want to trail uh, your target then use this field that is trail profit buy. Now let's understand this locking feature first. This you can utilize to lock minimum profit or to use as a break even point. So what does it mean? If profit reaches 200 rupees, man, let 200 rupees aapka profit pahunch gaya and you want to lock minimum profit by 175 rupees, right? So in this case, if profit reaches to 200 rupees, but it did not go to your target that you have set as 500 rupees. Then in that case, Vakinzo will lock your minimum profit as 175 rupees. As simple as that. Now let's understand trailing feature. This is for the profit trailing. Keep some gap between increase in profit and trail profit. Please note that both the fields they are independent. But if you had mentioned profit locking, if you have mentioned profit locking, ko pehle, uh, mention kiya, then trail will work thereafter, okay? If it reaches, if uh, profit reaches point, right? Simple. So uh, this is how we set the target and this is how portfolio profit protection works. Now, 
So under the stop loss setting, suppose I have chosen combined loss as my stop loss type and I have set 250 rupees as my combined loss for this short straddle portfolio. Now, now the moment I click on the combined loss, these fields will come in front of me. That is uh, on a stop loss, a square of only loss picking leg, SL weight seconds and portfolio stop loss trading. We will understand each one of it one by one. So the first is on a stop loss, a square of only loss making leg. So if you tick this box, okay, and combined stop loss is getting hit for the portfolio, then back and so will only close that particular uh, leg which are in losses. So it is very important to note that if uh, these will leave the profit making legs intact in running condition and a stop loss will not be processed again, okay. And uh, do you see this button here, SL wait seconds? On hitting of the stop loss, back and zoom will wait for the specified second. Suppose you have 3 seconds, 2 seconds. And then it will recheck the stop loss condition. And it will place the order only if a stop loss is still getting hit after wait seconds. But if it will recheck the stop loss condition after stop loss setting ko condition. Ko, and if it is again hitting that, then it will square it off. Okay? If utilize this uh, feature properly, then this can save you from a stop loss hit on the wicks. Kai bari wick ke momentum se a stop loss hit ho jate, right? So if you use this uh, ca carefully, then uh, this can save you from wicks uh, stop loss hunting game. Okay. Now you can specify this in seconds. Now let's talk about this portfolio stop loss trailing. This option will only be available with the combined loss. Matlab combined loss pe hi ye kaam karega under this SL type. There you can specify it in rupees only. Okay. For every increase in profit, trail is stop loss by a certain, uh, you know, certain rupees. You can mention it here. Simple. This is for stop loss trailing. Read it uh, like for every increase in profit by 100 rupees, agar aapne bola, then just trail it by 50 rupees. So this is how you can see. Now, uh, this is as uh, this is my another case uh, wherein I have set uh, combined profit as 500 rupees and I have to show you that this 200 profit pe jaise hi hai, jaise hi 200 ka level attain karta hai, it will lock the profit uh, by minimum profit by 175 rupees. So I am just saving this portfolio. My portfolio is saved, recalibrated, and run it over simulator. Simple. I'll increase the speed so that I can showcase it to you. I'll expand it. Yeah. So do you see this uh, PNN here? Uh, I mentioned mention that if it reaches 200 rupees, then 175 will lock in them, right? So the moment it hits 200 rupees, it will be locked at 175 rupees. So here you go, right? Yeah, now I'll showcase it to you. See here, under the grid, grid notes, right? Combined trail profit 175 hit for the user, right? So this is how this uh, portfolio profit protection works. I hope you find this video useful. Don't forget to smash like button. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.